Hello, this is Ducky and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing a review for Fear the Walking Dead episode, season two, episode. Go. Jesus, what are you doing? For season two, episode nine, Los Naritos, which means the dead in Spanish. Um, alright. So let's get into this review and recap. Uh, this was an okay episode, okay? I really liked the uh, talking and some of the stuff with uh, Strain and Madison. I really liked that stuff. Um, Luciana and Nick, their bonding. I really liked it, but at the same time, it left off on a cliffhanger and we didn't have much action, which I didn't really like that it ended off on a cliffhanger. That kind of got me mad. But, other than that, it was a really good episode. Um, so let's start off from the beginning and we'll do our full episode recap from right now. So the first thing we had was, around the first thing, we started off with Nick. And they had this sacrifice thing where um, this man was bit. And apparently, that's what I got from it. If I get any of this stuff wrong, I'm so sorry. I just interpret it away, the way I've seen it. So i seen it as like, um, not a sacrifice, but like... Um, a gift to the dead almost um, because they worship the dead almost the Spanish um, if I'm getting that religion kind of wrong or whatever just put it down in the comments don't get mad at me or anything because I'm not Spanish or Mexican or anything like that so I don't know that stuff but if you guys know it put it down in the comments um, then we find out this really just caught me off guard I never really thought this would happen the Abigail is gone. Um, Strand, Madison, Alicia, and Ophelia go back to see the Abigail to go back on the Abigail. And it's gone. And they write this huge, like, just these big letters out of, like, sticks. And it says, what did it say? Um, Abigail lost, go north, or something like that. I believe that Travis or Nick will see that. Um, most likely Travis. I think Travis will see it. Um... Luciana and Nick in the zombie guts. So that was really cool having them side by side in the zombie guts. I thought that was really cool looking. Um, I don't know. It just really like if they had like a double pop set with like Luciana and Nick. I think that'd be perfect with the guts all over them. Uh, the Spanish religion. I talked about that. Um, yeah, I put it down in the comments if I'm missing things about that or just tell me what it's really about. Um. So, apparently, Ophelia almost had a husband, and his name was William, um, which that kind of sucks. And she said they were almost married until he go, he, he went to New Mexico, I think it was, and they couldn't do it, and then the apocalypse happened. Um, so, this new group, that's, it's like a, almost like a grocery store, and you, go, you give them drugs, and then they give you food, and you can go and kind of shop around and get stuff. Um, well, yeah, I really thought Nick was going to play a Jamie, uh, like, or a Rick, because, you know, in the comic of The Walking Dead, Rick, this isn't a spoiler, because it's not going to happen in the show, but Rick did get his hand cut off by the governor, and it never happened in the show, so, yeah, um, and in Game of Thrones, Jamie got his hand cut off, if you watch Game of Thrones, you would know, but... Uh, yeah, I really thought they were about to cut his hand off because something happened with him and him exchanging a look with like a girl or something and that guy him cut his hand off and I really thought it was going to happen. It would have really caught me off guard if it did. Then we got um, Alicia, Madison, Strand, and Ophelia. They all arrive at a hotel and um, Alicia and Ophelia split up into a group. And then Madison and, Tra or Madison and Strand are together. Um, and Alicia and Ophelia go upstairs to search through the hotel rooms. And we see a person that um, hung himself during the apocalypse. Maybe he was bent. Maybe he wasn't. He was just depressed. I'm just going to say it now. I'm not going to. That would be me. Okay. I <laughs> I would not survive in a zombie apocalypse. So I wouldn't die. I would want to die. Maybe like a less painful way. I've always thought of jumping off a building would probably be the easiest because then you just dead. But yeah, that's another one that would really be good. But Ophelia, the look that she gave that body, 
it just, I don't know, it really stuck out to me. I really think that she is going to die this season, this season or definitely next season. I don't think she's going to live that long. Um, and she's going to die by suicidal. I, I, I don't know, maybe not hanging, but something like that. Um, I don't know if that means lots of water. Oh, uh, lots of water. Um, Nick and Luciana, they got like a crap ton of water, like those big barrels, kind of like uh, jugs, jugs, big jugs of water. And they had like two carts full of them. That was really, I mean, that's, that's pretty good to have that. Um, Nick's hand scary. Yeah, I already talked about that. That was pretty scary. Um, Strand and Maddie. So they had some pretty funny scenes and actually got me like, it just lightened me up a little bit with them. Um, and I even said in my reaction, I said if Strand wasn't gay and Madison wasn't married, I think they'd be a really cute couple. And he even hit on her at once. Then he said, okay, I'm not even going to say what he said because I don't want to say it. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, I think they'd be really cool. And then Strand gets on the piano and <laughs> starts playing the piano. Um, Maddie also mentions that Nick's dad was Steven. That's what his name was. And yeah, they were drunk. Like, they were getting drunk. Because at the bottom of the hotel, there was a bar and... Whew, it was funny. It was really funny. Yeah, and Strand started playing the piano, and they're all drunk. So Maddie, Maddie started smashing shot glasses and stuff. Um, and then we go back up to Alicia, up to Alicia's scene. And she's in a room. Or she's getting a shower, actually, and there was confirmed that there was actually hot water in the hotel, which was awesome. And uh, she walks out on the deck to look for Ophelia. And you just see this body flying from a deck above. Alrighty, this scared the crap out of me because I you you'll see my reaction if you've already watched that or you can go watch that now. Um, yeah, I mean that really scared me. I really thought that was Ophelia for a second until we found out that there was actually zombies falling off all the decks. But uh, yeah, Ophelia's gone now. Uh, we can't find her. So, crap. She's like the new Carl. Um, and then we had. The walker bite, okay, you guys can correct me in the comments, but this really caught me off guard. Was it a cure that Alejandro had, um, the walker bite? Was that a, that was a bite, it had to be a bite, and it was, like, cured. Is that, like, I don't know, I'm gonna have to watch some reviews after this, because as I said before, talking to one right now, so you can tell that, I'm not watching any reviews before I do my review, so I have no idea what's really happening um, from just my knowledge. So, really, I I don't know. Was that really a cure? Because I have no idea, and it kind of caught me off guard. And then this is the part that really brought me from, like, a 8.7, 8.6 rating of the episode down to, like, a 7.8, 7.9 review of the episode was the cliffhanger. I didn't like this because we really didn't have that much action in this episode. It was really just story. And I really thought, like, if they really would have killed Ophelia off, I mean, that would have made up for it. But, I mean, nothing really much happened. I really thought those walkers were actually, they were actually going to fight them off and stuff. I mean, we had a little bit of fighting with them, but that cliffhanger just kind of brought me down with the episode. Uh, but it will be resolved next episode, and it looks like it's going to be pretty good, and it looks like we're going to see Chris and Travis in the next episode, which is going to be awesome. I want to see them um, pretty bad. Um, but yeah, I give this episode a 7.9 rating um, because of the cliffhanger. It really brought me down. I didn't really like that. Um, but yeah, it was, a, it was a good episode, though. I really liked it. Um, can anybody... Cause, uh, can any of you tell me how many episodes are in the season? I don't know yet. Um, this was episode 9, so I'm thinking maybe 12 or 13 episodes. That's how long season 2 of The Walking Dead was. So I'm thinking about that much, but I'm honestly not sure. So comment down below and tell me, because I really want to know, if, just for um, reaction timings and everything, of how ready I have to be for them. Um, so yeah, if you can do that for me, that would be really helpful. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh... I don't know if I'm going to do predictions. If you guys want me to do predictions, I'll do them. I've just been doing a lot of things lately with a top secret project that I've told you guys a little bit about, but I've never really confirmed it, and it's changed a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I can't really tell much of that. Um, but I've been working a lot on that. It's been really consuming my time. So 
I'm sorry about videos really not coming out lately. Uh, I do have the 100 subscriber video ready. It's really good. I've been editing it. It's like a 50 minute video and I had to split it in two because it was so much. Um, it was like two gigabytes of a video. So yeah, that will be going up soon. I don't know when. Both parts, it will be two parts. It will be split in half, like a 23 clip and a 23 clip, something like that. So yeah, I'm sorry that that's going up a little late, but I'm trying to get this all done. And this reaction was tonight, so I kind of had to push it back a little bit. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. And um, stay tuned to my channel and watch more. Uh, and I'll see you all later. Good bye.